Good show for y'all. Got a damn good show. <laughs> All right, so I'm sure everybody's noticed. I see it on Instagram. I see it on YouTube in the comment sections. Everybody's, I see all these comments suggesting that George Soros endorsed DeSantis. Well, that's what Robert, Roseanne Barr said. I trust her. She, she's a reliable source. <laughs> DeSantis is deep state. He's a sanctimonious meatball. <laughs> we can't trust that guy. He's a Trojan horse. That's what he is. Well, if Roseanne said it, it must be true. <laughs> okay, so this whole story started. I trust on... Roseanne. I trust Roseanne over you. I trust her heart. Yeah, I trust her heart too. I don't trust anything that comes out of my <laughs> <laughs> But uh this story all started with the Gateway Pundit. They put out that George Soros endorsed DeSantis, and it all comes from like this, I think it was some kind of economic forum, and uh Soros was talking, right? Let me do some talking. Can I do some talking? You hogging up all the airtime. Now, the Gateway Pundit, it's a right-wing, you know, yeah, political website. And they, more often than not, they sensationalize and they embellish on stories and make well, them more shocking. The, and yeah, a lot of things they say is just a twist of words, and and some of it's not true. Well, um, I would say a majority of it's not true. What? I don't really watch the, um, I already. I have. Yeah. I, I support Republicans and Trump, but I don't, I don't support sensationalism and, and. And just bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so it started with the Gateway Pundit. They said George Soros endorsed Ron DeSantis. So they took this from a video. I'll, check me out. Is this an endorsement? Check me out. You check mean, out check the, out the video. Yeah, check out the video. Well, you think you look good or something? <laughs> <laughs> check it out. My hope for 2024 is that Trump and Governor DeSantis of Florida but will me slug me. it out for the Republican nomination. Trump has turned into a pitiful figure, continually bemoaning his loss in 2020. Big Republican donors are abandoning him in droves. DeSantis is shrewd, ruthless, and ambitious. He is likely to be a Republican candidate. Uh, this could induce Trump, whose narcissism has turned into a disease, to run as a third-party candidate. That would uh, lead to a democratic landslide and force the Republican Party to reform itself. But perhaps I may be just a little bit biased. Man, these damn Jews, man! <laughs> These damn Jews! <laughs> hey, that dude's That's something. what Kanye would say. <laughs> <laughs> These damn Jews, man. <laughs> hey, so the Gateway Pundit, they started, this is a, uh, this is an endorsement. All he was saying is that he thinks uh, DeSantis is a better candidate. He's going to be the ultimate nominee for the mm. Republican Party. And because of, he says Trump is a narcissist, mm. he's going to start... He's going to run uh, a third party, like a libertarian or whatever, mm -hmm. and they're going to give it to the Democrats by a landslide. That's all he That's all he said. Which is true. I mean, I mean, uh, that, that Soros, that damn Jew, that damn Jew, he's smart as shit. He can see into the future. I can see that happen. DeSantis winning the uh, nominee you for Republican. Do you think Trump would disregard the uh, and run as a third Not party? after that last election. It left a bad taste in his mouth. What were you? What? I think I think what a lot of things what Soros just said I think is true. If DeSantis win a Republican nominee, I oh. see Trump, you know, trying to run as a third party. I don't think he'd do that. Huh? Really? <laughs> <laughs> you see what happened on January 6th, didn't you? <laughs> that man would do anything. Well, he don't. He won't give up. Yeah, he won't give up. He's tenacious. He's, he's a fighter. I love Trump. You know, if he becomes a Republican nominee. I'm going to vote for him, regardless of who wins the nominee. I don't care. You know? Yeah. But how is that an endorsement of DeSantis? No, the Gateway Pundit is playing on people's emotions, 
the well, and, I think, and he's twisting people around like just because somebody support Trump, you can't necessarily take them at their word. They could have they have ulterior motives. Obviously, the Gateway Point is a huge fan of Trump. Yeah. He might be a fan of DeSantis, but he don't want to see De- DeSantis just yet. He rather see Trump finish his another four years in office. Yeah, I'm a Trump supporter too, but yeah. I don't think we should disparage other. Republicans. I mean, there's yeah. plenty of Republicans to disparage. Why, why would you disparage DeSantis of all people? Yeah. He's like been the model Republican. Yeah. Right? So why would you disparage him and make up that Soros is endorsing him? That's yeah. that's not an endorsement. The, the, the that reason, was like a dream. Shut up! That was like a dream for Soros. DeSantis win. Then Trump's pissed off. He runs. And if... Uh, the sense to get the Republican and Trump runs as a third party, mm-hmm. man, the Democrats are going to win. He's handing it right over to Sleepy Joe again. That's man. his dream. That's all he said. How is that an endorsement? Yeah. He he complimented the Senate, said he was a very shrewd politician, which he is. He's a, he's a couple steps in front of all the Democrats. And y'all don't notice a lot of these Democrats are two steps in front of these Republicans. Not with DeSantis, man. He's, yeah. he's, he's, he's like, man. DeSantis turned Florida more red than... California is Democrat. And that's saying something. Florida yeah. was once a purple state. That's an amazing thing he's done now. Yeah. And for every for s- some of these people to disparage him. Yeah. And call him a Soros back, deep state, Trojan horse. That's just stupid because you're taking some information that you're hearing from somebody and then you just running with it without even verifying it. Yeah. Well, they sensationalized the story. For political gain. That's what they did. Exactly what they did. They embellished on it and at the expense of facts. Like, whenever you see DeSantis run his mouth or he brings up Soros, he puts him, he puts him in a bad it's light. It's in a negative connotation to it. Yeah. Every time I hear DeSantis talk about Soros, like, yeah. here, he just said this recently. Trump indictment, and if you have any role in it, um, if charges are brought on him, will you have any role in extradition to New York? So I've seen rumors swirl. I have not seen any facts uh, yet, and so I don't know what's going to happen. But I do know this. The, the Manhattan district attorney is a Soros-funded prosecutor. And so he, like other Soros-funded prosecutors, they weaponize their office to impose a political agenda on society at the expense of the rule of law and public safety. He has downgraded over 50% of the felonies to misdemeanors. He says he doesn't want to even have jail time for the vast, vast majority of crimes. And what we've seen in Manhattan is we've seen the the, the crime rate go up and we've seen citizens become less safe. And so you're talking about this situation with, and look, I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. I just, I can't speak to that. (laughs) But what I can speak to is that if you have a prosecutor who is ignoring crimes happening every single day in his jurisdiction, and he chooses to go back many, many years ago uh, to try to use something about porn star hush money payments, you know, that's an example of pursuing a political agenda. I know Trump hit that. I know he did. Huh? I know Trump hit that. In all yeah. kinds of positions. What, horse face? I, I bet you wouldn't call him a horse face when he was tapping <laughs> Y'all know Trump went deep inside of that. Well, I, who knows? Just what left, happened. just left his Trump nuts hanging out. <laughs> who knows what happened? I don't know. Well, there's smoke that fire. <laughs> well, sometimes you heard what he said on that bus, just grabbing by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you think he just made that shit? <laughs> <laughs> now don't get your, don't get all you know upset at me. I'm just stating the facts. He said these things. I'm a Trump fan, but I know damn good and well he hit that shit. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Trump supporter, man. Of yeah. Course. I'm a Trump supporter, but I'm not stupid. Uh, I'm a Trump supporter and I'm a DeSantis supporter. Yeah. They, both of these men should be praised for the jobs they did when they was in office. I bet a lot of y'all can't say this. Regardless who wins the Republican nominee, I'm voting for him. Can you say that? No, you can't. That makes you a patriot. Makes me a patriot. Makes me a devout Republican. Yeah, I, I see a lot of comments talking about if Trump don't win... And that damn uh, meatball, uh, damn Soros back. Uh, that uh, fat boy, if that fat Italian win. That damn dang, the sanctimonious win, I ain't voting. Yeah. I mean, the, you gonna put one man above the entire country? Yeah. Seriously. May the best man wins. Yeah. You May see. the best man wins. And whoever wins, 
If you're a Republican, if you're a conservative, you go with whoever wins. Yeah. This, that I, this crap that, hey, if Trump don't win, I'm not voting. That's treason. That is treason. Yeah. That's them. What, what's the other, um, what's something else bad other than treason? Shit, I don't know. No, man, something else is no word. Treason? Man. Don't you hate that when you have something on the tip of your tongue you can't think of? It? You a damn red coat. Red coat? You a damn red coat. Alex Jones, you a damn red coat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a damn good show. Come on, damn good shows. Click, click one of these videos on. Man, we got short videos, we got long videos. In the description box, sign up for our email list because we're getting censored, okay? And don't forget, we got a contest going. We got like, what, 12 days left to win yeah. a new Jeep. All that information be in the description box. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. We got a country to save.